I am Mrs. Eman Jodi, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, Sakti College of Arts and Science for Women, Otanjatram. We have discussed about a polymer. Polymer is any of a class of natural or synthetic substances composed of very large molecules called macromolecules, which are multiples of simple chemical units called monomers. Polymers make up of many of the materials in living organisms and the basis of many minerals and man-made materials. A polymer is a substance or materials consisting of a very large molecules or macromolecules composed of many repeating subunits. Examples nylon, polythene, polyester, teflon, epoxy and uh, natural polymers are silk, DNA, wool, cellulose and proteins etc. Today we have discussed about introduction of polymer, types of polymer, classification of polymer, characteristic of polymer and applications of polymers. First introduction of polymer. Polymers are very large molecules made up of bonding a series of building blocks. The word polymer comes from a Greek word that means the many parts. Monomer means one part. One of the monomer can be simple just an atom or two or three or they come complicated. A ring shaped structures containing a dozen or many atoms. An artificial polymer. Each of the chain links will often be identical to its neighbors. Polymers is used as a synonyms for plastic. All plastics are polymer, but not all polymers are plastics. Next, types of polymers. So many types of polymers. First one is natural polymer, homopolymer, homo copolymer, thermoplastic, thermosex, long chain polymers, etc. First one is natural polymer. The natural polymers occur in nature and extracted. They are often water based. For example, silk, DNA, cellulose and proteins are natural polymers. The natural polymers are applied for wide variety of biomedical fields. Uh, applications such as paramedicals, tissue regenerations, uh, drug delivery agents and imaging agents etc. It won't case the used as dressing for acute or chromatic wounds and as regenerating templates. Natural polymers can be derived from wide variety of sources, plants, animals and microorganisms due to their similarity, mechanical durability, high biocompatibility and high water holding capacity. Natural polymer is currently available for skin repair and regeneration in wound healing. Next one is homopolymer. Homopolymer, it consists of only one kind of monomers. More than one kind of monomers is called copolymers. Homopolymers can be used in different processing techniques such as injection molding, film, fiber, sheet extrusion and thermoforming etc. Homopolymers and heteropolymers. Homopolymers are made from polymerization of identical monomers. Heteropolymers means it's made of, of a polymerization of two or more different monomers. The next one is copolymer. Copolymer is that is made of two or more monomer species. Many commercially polymers are copolymers. Example, polyethylene, vinyl acetate, nitric rubber. Uh, uh, these are the copolymers. The process in which a copolymer is formed from multiple species of monomers is known as copolymerization. It's often used to improve or modify certain properties of plastics. Copolymers can be classified into four types. First one is statistical copolymer. Statistical copolymer in which two or more monomers are arranged in a, some statistical rule. It should be a more fraction of monomers be a equal to probability. 
The polymers are generally synthesized via the free radical polymerization method. The example rubber made of copolymer of sterling and a butodiene. Next one is alternating copolymer. It contains single main chain with alternating monomers. The formula is generated to bond A bond B of N. Example of alternating copolymer is nylon 6. Alternating unit of hexomethylene diamine and adiabic thick acids. Next copolymer is block copolymer. It has more than one ho homopolymers. A single chain macromolecules called block copolymers. Example, agriconitrile. That means SBS rubber. Graph copolymer. It has a different structured main chain and a side chain known as graph polymer. Example, polished chain. Synthesized from free radical polymerization. Next one is thermoplastic. Thermoplastic is usually a plastic polymer. When thermoplastics are heated to their melting point, they melt to liquid. They freeze to glass sheets when cooled below the glass transition temperature. A type of plastic that can be softened by heat, hardened and cooling. Uh, softened by heat over the over again. Thermoplastic or not cross-linked polymer. Next one is thermosets. Thermosets. Materials which remains in a permanent solid state often being cured only one time. That polymer within the material cross-linked during a curing process to perform an unbreakable irreversible bond. Thermosets will not melt even when exposed to extremely high temperature. So many advantages in the thermosets. It has high elastic, tough and resist, resistant to many chemical. One of the popular thermosets in poly, <coughs> polyurethane. Next one is characteristic of polymer. So many characterizations in the polymers. It has low density, low coefficiency of frictions, good corrosion and uh, resistance, pure tensile strength, low mechanical properties, poor te temperature resistance. It can be produced transparent or different colors. And then applications of polymer. So many applications of polymers uh, different in different fields agriculture field medical field transport field electrical field and household applications first agriculture field melting film greenhouse film are the example for the polymer films biodegradable polymer are generally used for a purpose medical field medical field in that uh, polymer is used for syringes capsules medical packages, urine bags, etc. Transport field. It can be used for uh, wheel covers, tires, pumps and also made for use of uh, polymers in many materials. Electrical field. Wire coating, switches, uh, so etc. Householding applica applications. Bowls, kitchens, uh, accessories are also made by the polymers that's all thank you